Hi, this is pre-algebra lesson 5-4, expanding expressions. In this lesson, we'll be able to expand expressions using the distributive property. Let's start with solve and discuss it. The school is planning to add a weight room to the gym. Ooh. If the total area of the gym and weight room should stay under 5,500 square feet, what is one possible length for the new weight room? Show your work. Are there other lengths that would work? Why why not? So looking at the diagram, we have 90 feet times 55 feet is the area of the school gym. And then we're gonna add a weight room um, there, which we don't know. X times what is gonna be the area, but it has to be under 5,500 feet. And, and it could it could be any feet um, if the area is under 5,500. So can you think about a width and a length um, for, for the new weight room? What is the relationship between the areas of the gym and the weight room? It's the first thing that you need to think about. Um, you can see that the weight room has a lot less area than the school gym. So figure out what the area of the school gym is and make a reasonable answer. Okay. So first of all, what do you need to know? The total area is width times length, but what is the length? Gym length. This is going to be 55, right? This is the same, right? So the width is the same, but the length is gym's length plus the weight room's length, right? The total length is um, both of them combined. So if you multiply that, then you get the total area. So how can you write that in an expression? This is 55 is the width times 90 plus X could be your expression. And you can figure out an, an answer by substituting values that can be that can make an area under so less than 5,500 feet. Okay, so you can start putting in numbers like does 20 work? Does 15 work? Does 10 work? Does 5 work? Um, you can figure out a feet that works, a, a, the length that works. Okay, so for example, if you say if x is 8, then the area is, what is the area? 55 times 90 plus 8. So 55 times 98 would be 5,390 square feet. Is this under? And this is under 5,500. So you can say, so one possible, it doesn't have to be eight. You could plug in nine and seven or five and see if that works as well. For the new weight room is eight feet, okay? This is just one possible length. Focus on math practices. Why is an expression using X that represents the total area of the gym and the weight room? We've already wrote that expression up here. 55 times 90 plus X, right? Because we already know the width. We just need to know the length. 90 plus um, the length X. Okay. Moving on to example one. How does the value of an expression change when it is expanded? 
Um, expand expressions using the distributed property. A family farm plans to add a blueberry patch to the end of their apple or orchard. What is the total area of land that would be covered by the blueberry patch and apple orchard? We got a blueberry part, patch here and apple orchard here. And you can see that this length and the width here is the same. So that's also 1.5 kilometer. But you know the length of apple orchard, but you don't know the width of blueberry patch. So looking at the whole thing, we can say this is the total length, this is the width, so the width is going to be 1.5 kilometer. The length is 2.5 plus x, right? So it's very similar to um, the solve and discuss it problem. So you can write an expression 1.5 times b, or yeah, if that's not, if, if if that's not x, it could be b, it could be whatever variable, plus 2.5. You can use distributed property to multiply them out and say that's 1.5 b plus 3.75. That's an equivalent expression for this, okay? They're equal. All right, looking at try question. What is the expanded form of the expression 3.6 times c plus five? Fill in the blanks. T plus five should be the length and 3.6 should be the width. 3.6 times T is 3.6 T. Five times 3.6 is 18. So you can say equivalent expression for that could be 3.6 T plus 18, right? That's the area combined. So looking at the algebra, you can use distributed property to say 3.6t plus 3.6 times 5 is equivalent. And simplify, you get 18. So the expanded expression is 3.6t plus 18. Okay, convince me, if you know the value of t, if you know t is equal to a number, would the evaluated expression be different if you added the known value of t and five and then multiply by 3.6. So is this gonna be different with this? No, because they're equivalent expressions. They should have the same value uh, with the same value of t. So if t is equal to two, for example, then, 3.6 times 2 plus 5, because t is 2 from the first one, is 25.2. And the second, second equation, second expression, 3.6 times 2 plus 18 should also be 25.2. So no, because they're equivalent expressions. Okay. Example two on the next page. Expand expressions with a variable. Use the distributed property to expand the expression x times negative two minus 0 0.5 y. So if we, if we have two different variables, that's okay. You can still use distributed property and simplify if we can. But what if, what happens when we multiply x and y together? What happens? What's x times y? You don't know what x is, you don't know what, what y is, but you know x and y could be are gonna be different numbers. They could be the same, but they represent different numbers, right? So when you multiply them, x times y is just xy. Ta-da. Okay, so you distribute them out, x times negative two constant is gonna be negative two x. In the same way, you multiply x by negative 0, 0 0.5 y, 
and you simply get negative 0 0.5 x y if you multiply variables they're just a different term so x y is a different term with x and y okay so <clears throat> so for example x plus y plus x y they there is no like term okay they're all different they're all different terms okay no like terms make a note all right so the expanded expression is this so try expanding this expression yourself t times negative one over two w plus three come back when you're ready for answer okay are you ready use distributed property to distribute t out t times negative 1.2 w plus t times 3 is simply negative sorry negative 1.2 w t plus 3 t wait alphabetically is w before t S T W S T U V W no, so um, technically it's better to write your variables in alphabetical order if your term has more than one variable. So let's try to practice that. Okay, but example three expand more complex expressions. What if we have rational number? That's okay use the same distributed property. So if you have more than two terms, you have to distribute to all the terms, okay? So multiply negative one over three to the first, second, and third term separately. And then add the like terms, these constants could be added together and simplify to negative five over three. So your expression becomes negative five over three plus Okay. Or you can simplify inside first, two plus three is five. And then you can use distributive property after that. And then it makes it simpler later when you distribute it, okay? So there are, there are different ways, but you should get the same answer. All right, let's look at try it. See if you can distribute this by yourself. This one does not have like terms in the parentheses, so you truly have to multiply it out to all the terms using the first one. Okay, are you ready? So distribute this out, negative 2 over 5 times 10 plus negative 2 over 5 times 15 over 15 times m plus negative 2 over 5 times negative 20 n. Okay. And so simplify that uh, negative two over five times 10. You can simplify fractions like this, numerator and denominator. If you can divide them by the same number, you can simplify it and then multiply. So two times two is four. Okay. And negative two over five, again, divided by five. And negative two times three is negative six n. And then this one divided by five again. And negative times a negative is positive. So you have positive two times eight, two times four is eight, so eight n. Okay, so that is your simplified form. Do you see any like terms? No, m and n are different terms, okay? So that's it, that's all you can do. So simplify using distributive property, see if there's any like terms. If you see them, then you combine them. If you don't, just leave it like that, okay? That was lesson four, expanding expressions. In summary, you can expand expressions using the distributive property. Make sure you distribute it out to all the terms, not just the first term. Okay, that's a common mistake. All right, thanks for watching. We'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye.